PGA golf instructor Todd Kolb here, and I uh, just wanted to uh, take a few minutes here and kind of share uh, one of the ways that I'm using Swing Catalyst in my in my daily lessons, and and uh, one of the ways that it allows us to not only enhance what we're doing from a golf instruction standpoint, but also help the student kind of learn and and why we do the certain things that we do. So this is a this is a pretty typical example of a of a high school gal that I work with a very uh, very good player, going to be a, a Division One college golfer. Uh, and I've got some picture over here on the right, some data from uh, just over a year ago, and then some stuff over here on the left from just recently. And so one of the great things about Swing Catalyst and that I like to use is the ability to not only compare swings from time to time, but also uh, movements in um, uh, center pressure, uh, where it is on the feet, things like that. So uh, this student here, uh, like I said, is a, a smaller gal, uh, slender, but hits the ball a long ways and really understands because she did a lot of gymnastics of how to use the ground for a source of power. But one of the things we really struggled with early on was getting a good sequence in the golf swing, the arms and the club and the body working in the way that we wanted it to. So the first thing that would jump out right away is you'll notice uh, the difference in the trace. So this is, like I said, oh, just over a year ago. And one of the things that I like to see in a trace, especially for a consistent iron player, is a nice clean trace. So the one on the left, the first thing that I you'll notice right away is is not only the kind of the shape of the trace, but you'll notice that it's much cleaner. And what that tells me as her golf instructor is is that things for the most part are kind of working in unison and, and kind of working in an order in which we would like them. And so, uh, but when we dive a little deeper into it, if I take us up here to the top of the backswing, one of the things that we'll see right away is not a lot of difference in terms of pressure on the feet, you know, right or left. But you'll notice significantly that was one of the things we worked on that we've we've wanted her to feel that the that the pressure is more in the middle of the foot. So you'll see equal pressure pretty much through toe and also into the heel versus on the on the old one we were definitely kind of out on the toe. And even though we were still 50-50, you know, basically on both of them, where that pressure was on the feet, in in our opinion, really greatly impacted her ability to time it and uh, have a good downstroke. So. Uh, as we transition here in the downstroke, if we look, first of all, uh, the old swing on the right, we'll see a strong move, of course, uh, towards the left foot, which is something that we like, but almost too much where we get almost literally all of our pressure going towards the toe, which we'll see here, and uh, literally like 100%. And then we'll start to see some backup. So we went from toe or, uh, to strong to the left, and then we start to see some backup in the center of pressure trait through uh, the rest of the downstroke. Over here on the left, after some work, uh, we'll see a nice consistent move from the right side into impact and then all the way into the left side. So even though an impact, uh, we're, we're pretty close to the same 80 on one, 89 on the other in terms of pressure on the left foot, we can see that the arm swing is much more matched up or hips on the right side were definitely way more out in front versus over on the left, the new swing. Uh, we like where that position's at. The club's more in front of her chest, more in front of her body, and we feel like that's a much better uh, impact position for her. Now, like I said earlier, the great thing about Swing Catalyst is we can look at what's happening with the ground, and for this particular student, that's where we found a lot of success. So uh, the main thing here that I'd like to kind of share with the group is not only the cleanness of the center of trace uh, over here on the left versus the one on the right, but also where we were at in terms of feet. And this was a great visual for her to see. Top of the backswing on the right and the old swing, she was definitely out on the toe. We can see that here versus now she's much more centered. That helped the transition into the downstroke where the center of pressure could keep moving gradually towards the target into a great impact position. And where we used to miss a lot of shots kind of high into the right, we now have a nice cleaner ball flight. We're able to get the ball up and turn it over and uh, have made some great progress. So this is just one example of how at our academy we're using Swing Catalyst to not only improve our instruction, but also help our students understand why we're doing what we're doing.